Hi, it's David from Electric Teaching, and this is part three of making your own grapher with integrals. Um, so what we've done so far, and let me just run it real quick, is we have the ability to bring up the command. This is what we've added to the original grapher program the, in red here. That uh, we've put in the, the blitted some text, blitted, that's B-L-I-T, blitted some text um, to the screen that says to hit I, and you hit I. And now it overlaps everything except the Q command, which still works. We've left that in there. And we move over to an integration um, subroutine or a function where we have displayed this text and we can put in some numbers. I have noticed that when you quit, it doesn't quit. It just leaves the loop and goes right back to the other loop within, back in my grapher where you can see I have X value moments here. So I need to fix that little bit. So I'm going to quit again here. Say no. Uh, don't worry about the tracebacks over there. That's normal when you just quit the system, but don't quit Python. Um, let's see. I'm going to scroll all the way down. You know what I forgot to add? I even mentioned that I do this. Uh, only thing left to do when you end a, a loop is quit Pygame and do a system quit. And I even kind of mentioned that, but I actually forgot to make sure we have it at the end of our loop. So first thing I need to do is kind of finish the, the the main idea that once we're in this loop, the only thing left to do when we leave the loop is, uh, I want to be sure I'm one end in, in. yep I am, that uh, once we leave this loop, the loop started right here on this while loop, the only thing left to do then is after that loop is to quit <coughs> and exit. Let's see, what else do we want to do right now? Down here in the integration, We've done X-Men. We've done a great job with X-Men. We now want to highlight and copy the entire X-Men part where we join, replace, render, and blit the information from an array. Whoops, didn't want to do that. And now what I want to do is copy, and I want to paste it, and I want to make it all X-Max, X-Max. So what we're going to do is have an xmax display that takes the xmax value from the array from the xmax value variable. And every one of these is xmax. So take a second to just go through your code and make sure that every min, even the word that we're displaying to the screen, max a, min, max there, and let's see, max, 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 max. Oop, we're going to make a new variable here called um, plot x max. And this one's going to be plot x max that we're blitting to the screen. And we won't blit it 20 pixels in. We're going to make it further to the right. So I'm thinking, I'm going to guess 120 pixels in just to kind of boost it all the way over to the right side. Hopefully that's enough and not too much. If it is, we'll fix it. Um, the next thing we need to do is before we enter the loop, before we enter the loop, since when we get into this loop down here, I want to know, what, are we inputting in um, min numbers or max numbers? So we're going to have to, um, oh, excuse me, I'm in the loop right now. Before I get in the loop up here, I want to be sure I know which values we're doing. So what I'm going to do is the first time we're coming through, I'm going to make a new variable and we're going to assign it which value one. So which value being 1 refers to being the min, uh, the first value coming in. And so then what we want to do then is the instruction up here for um, uh, this instruction right here where it says to add in, that now needs to be in a if statement because I want this instruction to work if which value 1, in other words, I'm placing my min values, and then I want a similar statement for doing my max values. So I'm going to take this entire statement. I'm going to tab it in. So that's automatically tabbed in. And then I'm going to put an if which value, the new variable I just made, double equal 1. So if we are inputting the mins, which value is 1, and we don't want to touch this. So I'm just going to leave it indented perfectly. Else, there's only one other else because there's only one other thing we're doing, so I don't have to do an else if something. I just say else because which value is going to go to two once I get to this point. Let me stretch this out so we can see the rest of the screen here. And now I'm going to kind of paste the same instructions, but be replacing these. These are going to be replacing the instructions 
um, when we do the x max value. Make sure that we're typed in carefully, tabbed in, excuse me, carefully. And so I'm going to make sure that everything is tabbed in nicely on this out statement. And now I've got to change some things in here. This is now going to be uh, the instruction for, oh, this is uh, wrong. Oops, I got the wrong copy and paste part. Sorry, I didn't copy it, I guess. I don't think I hit the copy very well. Copy, paste. Hopefully that didn't confuse you. I apologize. Basically, we're copying the same instructions, except now we're saying type in the x value that not starts, but ends the integral so that it'll switch the second we uh, hit the enter command that we say here it's going to switch the which value to 2 and now we're going to be able to see this part of the screen where it says x value and that ends the integral and we want to place it right in the same place I don't want the enter command there I'm going to actually make a new letter that we haven't used I'm going to use the letter a to represent basically area so we're going to select a to not add the end value now to graph and calculate calculate the area um, we'll just leave it at that because it's sometimes between curves or below the curve all this other text I think needs to be right on top of where the other one was so that it looks like a perfect instruction just switching depending on which value now we said that when we hit the word enter that we would be able to input the next value so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to find where we've done the uh, uh, keyboard commands and we're going to basically I'm going to copy one of these keyboard commands here the LF keyboard commands paste it in I'm going to paste it in so it's right below the Q and now we're going to put in the command it's called return called return the enter key is called return all capitals all capitals just like the key down on the quit all these things need to be all caps when you're making a, a, a word that represents a key here um, so K hits return and what do we want to do it's real simple we don't want to leave the screen we don't want to go to another subroutine we just want to stay right here but we want to switch the word the, which value to be 2 which value to be 2 so that the next time we come through this while loop it knows that I'm on the max value which will be displaying then a new set of instructions I just wanted to pop up there to show you that and now able to be able to put in the max values for the keyboards and you can see right here these keyboard commands will only touch the min value so more if else statements are needed so if somebody hits K uh, the keyboard one if somebody hits the keyboard one I need to ask a question I need to say hey if which value if which value is double double equal for an if statement equal to one then go ahead and do your X min value append no big deal now the next line is the next line is a um, else statement and I'm going to do an else statement a little differently I can do else colon and if it's only one instruction I could put it right on the same line kind of a nifty way of uh, keeping the code clean and this is now else meaning we're at which value 2 meaning we're at the max value so I'm going to say x max value dot append and we're going to put the value 1 off the keyboard and put it into the max value array which will be uh, basically altered and made pretty so right now I've got a copy I gotta copy these and paste them all in so I'm gonna pause the video to do that and fix it so that they're all two three and four okay almost done here I paused the video and added a bunch but you can see what I'm doing I've now got down to all the way down to zero and whoops almost changed the wrong one but basically what I've done is I've copied and pasted the if which value equal one um, uh, statement and uh, the if else part and I have pasted it in for all of the values so that when you hit the say number six on the keyboard it knows where to put the value whether I'm going to put a six into the min or a max done it for all the numbers zero and let's say I need to do it for the uh, universal code of the dot or decimal and so I'm going to have it put in the decimal 
here and then the minus sign. And then we should have, oops, one more here. We should have this working so that we can input the values and then we'll be all set to go for actually calculating the area and drawing the area in or shading the area in with a bunch of red lines. So let's see, let me run it. Hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. Take a look, oh, got one error. Oh, that means I probably have a bunch of errors. I gotta be careful here. Uh, let me pause the video and double check this. Okay, I think I just had one little space wrong. So let me try it and see if it works. We're gonna put in an X, we're gonna hit I. All right, looks good so far. I'm going to put in like maybe two. I think I need to move over the max value over further. That's the one thing I say. I'm going to hit enter. And if I hit enter, it should change this uh, screen up here. And it didn't. So that was interesting. So enter didn't work. Or the return button didn't work. So let me see if I can fix that. Okay, my return had a lowercase w missing. So... It was need to be an uppercase W, so I think that was the only error. Cross our fingers. I'm going to hit X, hit return to get to the integration command. Hit I, put in maybe 2.3, that looks good. Hit enter, switches the instruction nicely. And now I should be able to maybe put in 3.5, and yeah. So the min x and max x values are being uh, 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 entered in nicely, displayed to the screen. Everything's working great so far. So I'm going to call it quits here at part three. And in part four now, we're going to be able to, now that we've got it all set up, we're going to be able to start doing some graphing of uh, the shaded area between the curve, or the line in this case here, and uh, the x-axis. I'm David from Electric Teaching, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'm glad you're listening.